There we go. Get the bulldog on the channel. Uh, once again, here I am dealing with the rust monster. I don't even live that far north. I'm, I live in the state of misery. I, I mean Missouri. Uh, the the we salt on the roads here, but not on any side roads really. Uh, we're right across the river from Illinois. They're using a lot more of that calcium chloride on the roads. It works down to a much colder temperature. They're starting to use it over here, especially on bridges. You know, because the air going underneath the bridge, they, they freeze quicker. So they use it a lot on bridges because they tend to freeze more. That's why you, you're driving along and you go, go across the bridge and just whoosh, it's around on you. Well, that's causing a lot of rust issues. That's what I've been dealing with. A ton of rust here lately. Uh, because of that, you know, just a tip for people. Wash under your vehicle. You, you, it's not just for cleanliness. It's so that you'll have a vehicle left because it will eat them alive. But it got me. I, I watched another one of my videos and, uh, I got to thinking, well, I remember when I was first starting out, I'd start a job, and it seemed like it'd take me all day long to get something little done because of rust. And I'm working on this one here. And I remember taking all day long to get it apart, and I had this thing apart. 20 minutes, 30 minutes without, you know, destroying anything. That's about the only way you start making money in this business, is you get experience. Uh, it surprised the heck out of me. I did this one here. Yesterday, I had showed a, I had done a short to it a while back, but, uh, I had that thing out of there pretty darn quick. And I had the new one back in pretty darn quick. And didn't bust off any bolts. Somebody else did. Somebody had broke off a bolt in there. And they did not drill it out and repair it. They kind of drilled a hole alongside of it. And then what they did was they put in a self-tapping screw. hold it in and why it was a piece that it was removable I took it off I stuck it in the vise over here took the air chisel it was a, a, a nut that was welded on the back side and they they didn't even drill through the through the bolt they drilled kind of cattywampus and, and just made something hold up I took my air chisel and zip and busted that welded nut off of there. And when I put it all together, I reached up through there and kind of bumped a new nut kind of close and up in place. And got the nut bolt started from the bottom and zipped it up on there. And if it has to ever be done again, yeah, I might have to have a little bit of a time, but you can always just cut the bolt off and just put a new bolt in it. There's no room to get up in there anyway. It's those little tricks. It's the experience that gets things done quicker. That actually, not only does it make your life easier, but it makes you money. Because time is money in this business. That's what you're charging for. 
That's what you're charging the customer for. But what they're paying for is your knowledge and experience of getting it done, of getting it done quickly, of getting it done without tearing it up, breaking more things. Sometimes it's unavoidable, but most of the time, with experience, you get it, you, you find a way to handle it. Um, this job over here, it's not going to be as bad as I thought. We have four or five brake line jobs all at the same time. Rust monster. And rust. Now these lines aren't near as bad. Where they came up through here, that's where they were all rusted out and they were hideous. Uh, the brake line goes up through here, on up onto the top of the fuel tank, across the top of the fuel tank, and it drops down and hooks up right here. Instead of having a pro proportioning valve up front, it has two little proportioning valves in the back. Prop valve. And I used to feed the line through and turn it down where I wanted it and flared it right there and then hooked it up and kind of bent all my lines on my way out and cut it off, you know, where I thought it should be and put the fitting on it and flared it up in the vehicle. Sometimes you have to do that. But I've learned that nine times out of ten you can get that line out of there bend it pretty close to match, cut it off, flare it, put it up in place, and it will fit. It's a lot easier to do that out here than to try to hold everything up and do that inside the vehicle. Experience adds a lot of value to a mechanic. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the little bell notification, share it all around. Talk to you later.